2024 Toyota Land Cruiser. The Toyota Land Cruiser has been one of the most reliable and iconic vehicles on the market for decades. It's a classic SUV that can handle a variety of terrains and has proven to be a reliable and dependable vehicle over the years. Now, the Toyota Land Cruiser is getting a major upgrade for the 2024 model year, and we're taking a closer look at what's in store. From new design features to improved engine performance, the 2024 Toyota Land Cruiser promises to be the perfect blend of modern amenities and classic style. Before moving forward, if you are new to our channel, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for future interesting videos. What's new for 2024? The boxy new Land Cruiser is back for the 2024 model year, and it rides on an entirely modernized platform. That means hybrid power and a smaller shape, better for challenging off-road rivals from Ford and Jeep. Pricing and which one to buy? The last time a Land Cruiser was on sale in the U.S. market, it started at a steep $87,030. But this time around, Toyota says the Land Cruiser will start at a more attractive price in the mid $50,000 range. That reduced sticker makes sense given the Land Cruiser's smaller frame and five-seat cabin. While we don't know the exact pricing yet, it seems to us the mid-range Land Cruiser trim is the best buy as it adds ventilated front seats, a 10-speaker stereo system, a larger 12.3-inch infotainment display, and wider all-terrain tires, among other items. Engine, transmission, and performance. Given that this is an entirely modernized generation of the Land Cruiser, Toyota has elected to install a turbocharged hybrid powertrain in place of a naturally aspirated V8 engine. A turbocharged 2.4-liter .4 four-cylinder is assisted by two electric motors to make 326 horsepower. If this setup sounds familiar, that's because it's a similar powertrain to the Toyota Tacoma. Fuel Economy and Real World MPG Although Toyota hasn't released fuel economy estimates for the Land Cruiser yet, we're expecting to see much better numbers than the previous generation V8 model offered. When we get a chance, we'll take the Land Cruiser on our 75 mile per hour highway fuel economy route and update this story with its real world test results. For more information about the Land Cruiser's fuel economy, visit the EPA's website, Interior, Comfort, and Cargo. Unlike the previous generation Land Cruiser, the new one is strictly a two-row, five-seat SUV. Toyota has downsized the Cruiser's body this time around, putting it into contention with the mid-size rivals such as the Ford Bronco and the Jeep Wrangler, rather than full-size SUVs such as the Chevrolet Tahoe and the Ford Expedition. While the base 1958 trim does without many of the other trim's luxuries, it still offers nice tees such as heated seats, a heated steering wheel, and a six-speaker stereo, infotainment, and connectivity. All Land Cruisers come with Toyota's excellent infotainment system with wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, but the base 1958 trim comes with a rather dinky 8-inch display. All other trims get a much larger 12.3-inch touchscreen. USB-C charging ports and a wireless smartphone charging pad are standard fare, but you'll have to pay extra for onboard Wi-Fi or the available 14-speaker JBL stereo system. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for future interesting videos. Thanks for watching.